Welcome back to the Agostino Zynga Show with me, your host, Agostino Zynga, and this is episode number 282. That's dos ocho dos. How are you guys feeling? How are you guys doing? Good. Amazing. It's been a while. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I've been trying to keep these up to about two a week now. Before, you know, when I had a bit more time and I had uh, a bit more, uh, yeah, I say it's time on my schedule overall. I could fit in about three to four. At one at one point, I remember I did five in a week. But now, seeing as I'm, you know, quite busy with work and all the other stuff that I've got going on outside of the podcast, time is a bit constrained. So I'm having now to do these at least minimum. I'm trying to get them out twice a week. And if I can get three, that'd be amazing. Um, I did plan to do a live stream for the Fury and Wilder fight, but I'm probably going to end up watching it somewhere. So I'll probably end up doing that. But do look out for some more content coming your way very, very soon on this channel. So don't delay. Um, sorry, don't stress. Uh, do not be worried. More content is getting pumped out. As I said before, I'll be doing at least a minimum of two podcasts a week. That's two hours of free content. I'll be pushing it on here on YouTube channel, plus all the other bits and bobs that I plan to do in the up and coming months. But again, no point in talking about that sort of stuff until I actually do it. So watch this space regardless um what have i been doing what have i been up to since i've last seen you guys so um this past weekend it was what valentine so that was a bit quiet ended up just staying in really not really doing that much and then the day before that we went out to on the same night as valentine's because i guess i don't know valentine's day is sort of like it's i find it bizarre how valentine's day especially in london you know, it's pretty, we're a pretty, um, or how, how would you say, I, I would describe London as being quite woke, right? I'd be, I would describe London as being quite progressive and I would also describe London as being, you know, there's a fairly large female population in London for the most part and a lot of girly girls, right? You, you do meet a lot of girls who actually enjoy, uh, basking in their feminine energy, let's say, yeah, right? So when you go to Liverpool Street, when you go to Soho, if you go parts of Lips, Shoreditch, you know, um, I'm assuming even places like Angel, Camberwell for nights out and stuff, right? You're going to bump into a lot of ladies who love being ladies, right? And those kind of ladies love Valentine's Day. They love birthdays. They love uh, colorful drinks. Um, they love stuff with glitter on it. They love photo booths, right? Those kind of girls love Valentine's Day. And you would imagine with that, with you know, quite a lot of them being in London, you'd imagine that we'd have a lot more, I don't know, activity around Valentine's Day. It feels like it, it was a bit flat. You would see, obviously, restaurants and bars kind of, you know, um, cashed out and were doing loads of, like, specials. Even the pizza shop next to where we live um, had these sort of, like, weird heart-shaped pieces that they were trying to sling, which is, you know, a bit naff, but, hey, you got to do what you got to do. So everyone had their little hustle they were doing, but I felt as if like there wasn't the same amount of buzz. It wasn't really ringing off. I don't know Halloween, sorry, but Halloween. It's definitely Halloween for some guys out there. Valentine's Day, especially if you're a girl or your partner of choice. Um, Valentine's Day falls somewhere around their birthday. That's when you just want to shoot yourself in the face. I can just imagine how horrible that must be. Um, but yeah, it just didn't feel the same. Valentine's Day just came across a bit weird. It didn't. It didn't feel like it rang off the same. And again, I'm not sure if it's because it's been replaced by other birthdays. It's been replaced by birthdays for the most part. I don't know. For it, it seems like every other week is some girl's birthday, and she's celebrating it for the week, right? That kind of. You remember there was a time when birthday week celebrations were like a funny thing, something to take the piss out of. Now, even your most boring of friend, even your most um, even even the most hermit of your friends, the one that's really like going out, has a week long celebration for their birthday, or at minimum a weekend. So that probably isn't that special anymore. So maybe some girls are in an effort to outdo each other. They're like, you know, they're doing away the Valentine's Day. They're like, you know what? I'm going to put all my resources. I'm going to put all my guilt trips, um, all my puppy dog eyes, right? All my flattering on my eyelids, on my eyebrow, or eyelashes, sorry, <laughs> towards my birthday so I can have the best one ever. Maybe. I don't know. But I, I just didn't feel like the same amount of buzz behind it. So that aside... Because I remember, you know why I'm saying that? Because we went out, obviously, on the Friday. We went to go see Gerd Janssen play at the Dusky Residency at XOYO. More on that later. But usually when you go out on a Friday, when you go out, especially if it fell on a weekend or a Friday or Saturday, if you'd go out, most of the time when you're out and about, you definitely bump into loads of, you know, single people looking to mingle, right? It'd just be full of people just hunting 
for someone to kind of you know sh- um, shack up with so they don't go home alone or feel like you know their life is nothing but misery so th- th- that would tend to happen but this time when I went out nothing it just felt like a normal night out did it I didn't feel like there was any urgency people weren't really trying I didn't again maybe I wasn't watching for the right things but it felt like everyone I saw out who happened to be in a couple were you know prearranged they'd have they'd kind of rocked up together I didn't really see any you know star-crossed lovers you know one guy's leaning across leaning on the bar unaware that his elbow is now covered in other people's beer he turns around and sees the girl wearing those stupid feeler trainers looking cute they exchange glances and then suddenly they become the next instagram couple where they're posing and the girl's doing that thing where she bends her knee and he's doing that thing where he kind of looks at the sky but looks down at the same time all right <laughs> so i don't know what do i know man what do i know 